Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer, Mozoculus Rift Reviews. Now is Windows Mixed Reality. Today we're going to do a review for Weaponry Dealer VR, a game that just came out of Early Access yesterday. However, it was released on the Steam Store October 11th, 2018 by Odo or Udo Games. It's available for the HTC Vive, Valve Index, Oculus Rift, and Windows Mixed Reality. It normally retails for $9.99. It's currently on sale 15% off. However, I was lucky enough to find this game in a bundle. And I want to say that I probably paid around 50 cents for this game on that bundle. And that was a great deal. And definitely made the, gump, the bundle worth buying. So if you can find this game in a bundle, I highly recommend it. Otherwise, however, I'm gonna have to give a rather tepid recommendation. Uh, buy, but only if you're okay with buying a game that shouldn't have left early access because it's buggy and it's super clunky and it needs a whole lot more polish before I could ever highly recommend this game. So yeah, there are fun elements to this game and I did have fun at times when this game worked as advertised. However, I found the game to be just a little bit too clunky and I did experience several bugs and one of them was game breaking and I'll mention that later on in my review but for the most part they were just the annoying kind of bugs. So at the end of the day I'm gonna give this game a 5.5 out of 10 and I really had a difficult time coming up with a score Figuring out whether I would give this a positive or negative recommendation, I could have really gone either way with this game. There is enough here to really like a lot. And this game really had the potential to be a really good, almost great game. At the end of the day, though, it's just a lack of execution that just brings down the whole experience. And that's why I'm only giving this game a 5.5 out of 10. But seriously, I thought, well, maybe I should give it a 4.5 out of 10, or maybe I should give it a 5 out of 10. But the moments of fun were very fun. And if you like the shop simulator type of gameplay, you might also consider buying this game. Although I wouldn't pay full retail price for this game. I'm not even sure that 15% off is enough to deal with the headache of this game. So in this game, you own a gun shop. By default, I believe you only start with $200. I might be wrong, but I believe it's only $200. And on my first playthrough, that's what I accepted to start. You do have full locomotion and teleportation options, and you also have snap turning. And what happened on my first playthrough is that I bought a, a shelf. So you need to buy a shelf to be able to sell an item. The problem was that shelf never materialized. <laughs> so I bought a shelf, but when I tried to place it in the gun shop, I just never saw it. And I did spend a good deal of time just trying to get past that issue. I finally just had to restart the game. On my restart, I was able to to uh, place the shelves, but I also started off with a lot more money. So you can choose to start with substantially more money than the default. I think I chose $69,000 just because random number figure there. And so you can buy all the shelves that you want. The problem is that it really doesn't matter how many shelves you put out there. I mean, it does. But at the end of the day, you still need experience, XP, in order to sell higher level weapons. So you start off with only being able to sell melee weapons. Once you do enough sales, and I guess enough correct sales is to put it better, then you unlock the ability to sell guns. Once you unlock guns, then you can, you know, grind for more XP and open up the automatic weapons. And then you can open up, you know, the, the armory and you can sell vehicles and whatnot. So in this game, uh, once you do put an item up for sale, you can set the price. If it's green arrow, it'll sell a lot faster and customers are more likely to buy it. I don't think I've ever had a rejected sale when a customer was looking at a specific item and it was in the green, but obviously you're not gonna make as much money selling that item. 
Another aspect of the game is the weapon permit. So each customer will have a weapon permit. You're going to have to check that weapon permit up against the list of available permits that you have just to make sure it matches up. If you have a correct sale, then you'll get XP for that sale. And like I said, you'll be able to unlock more items later on. You have your hours of operation and you can decide to close the shop, you know, and, and visit all around. You can, again, you do have full locomotion and snap turning. You can go to your apartment. You can go to the factory. You can go to the armory. But there is this gameplay loop of where you're basically keeping an eye out for customers. And if there are there, you have to be available, you know, to take their money and to make sure their permit is valid and then you can complete the sale. Or whether they're trying to actually rob from you and take your inventory. In that case, you have to be ready with your gun to shoot them and murder them basically out in the street. And that's exactly what I did here. I have to admit, I don't like the gun model that they gave you. It basically looks like a, uh, doesn't look like a, a weapon. It doesn't look like a gun really. Um, it looks like a flare gun is what it looks like. And the mechanic for it feels like you're shooting a pea shooter or a nerf gun. It just doesn't feel very good. And it does have severe drop off because of the clunky locomotion. Like I said, you have full locomotion and snap turning, but it's just, it just isn't very smooth. Uh, it is very easy for customers to lose you, especially if you don't have an eye on them, if you're looking at your inventory. And so that's part of the fun of this game is that you do have to have like one eye on your inventory. You're checking to see what items are wanted by customers. Uh, you're having to see what items that you want to order. There is a wait for you after you order an item, you have to wait for it to arrive. And then you gotta stock those items and put them on the shelves and set the prices for each item. Again, if it's green, it's likely to sell. If it's yellow, it's harder to sell. If it's red, it's likely not to sell. So you 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 yourself set the price for how much risk you want to take as far as a sale or losing a possible sale. All the while, you have to keep an eye out for customers. They usually come in several at a time. And you, again, you have to check their permits, make sure they're not stealing anything. And once you get enough reputation, enough experience, then you'll be able to sell more items or higher quality items from uh, guns to automatic rifles to weapons to furnishing your apartment, but I did run into several issues. Uh, I already mentioned the issue where I couldn't uh, place a shelf that I bought a shelf and I just had to restart because of that issue. But another issue is just actually placing the shelf. So you see here that I have three shelves in my sh gun shop, but that's not the location where I wanted to place them. I ended up having to settle for those locations because it was so hard to place them. I wanted to place them more in a location where I could easily see them. But I just had to settle for these locations just because it was so difficult to place them where I wanted to. Placing the furniture in my apartment, I found didn't work. I don't know why the tutorial explained it, but it just I just couldn't do it. Nothing I pushed or pressed uh, let me be able to move the furniture in my apartment and place it where I wanted to. When you order weapons, they just do that, as you saw there, where they just pop out of nowhere. They go all over the place. They'll go under the floor, they'll go through objects. And I had a couple of instances where I just couldn't find the weapon after I ordered it, thus losing money, which is the last thing that you want in a game like this. Again, overall, I did have moments of fun in this game. When this game works, it is a lot of fun, especially for a shop simulator. It's, it's done well, it's really hectic. You do have to keep like an eye on your inventory an eye on your customers setting prices it gets very hectic and does get a lot of fun but there's just so many bugs and it's just so clunky overall but it just really brings down the experience so and at the end of the day i'm only giving this a 5.5 .5 out of 10 and a buy on deep sell recommendation only anyways i'm fast lawyer if you like my review don't forget to like comment subscribe have a wonderful day goodbye